Recently, someone sprayed the word Xi Jinping's Communist Party must step down on the Tiananmen Red Wall, causing concern. Netizens on Twitter have reposted the image and praised the courage of the warrior. This is another action of Chinese people protesting against the Communist Party's tyranny, following last year's protests by Peng Lifeng on the Beijing Sido Bridge, which sparked the Toilet Revolution and the Blank Paper Revolution. In recent days, a picture has been circulating online showing someone spraying the word Xi Jinping's Communist Party must step down on the Tiananmen Red Wall. Looking closely at the picture, the part of the horizontal banner that is not blocked reads must step down. The part that is likely covered by the vertical banner consists of six characters, with the first character being Xi, not covered, and the sixth character being likely a character for party. Therefore, the complete slogan is estimated to be Xi Jinping's Communist Party must step down. Netizens have been reposting and discussing this on Twitter. On the red wall of Tiananmen Square, a hero has sprayed Xi Jinping must step down in paint. In democratic Taiwan, calling for someone to step down is an everyday occurrence, but in China, it is a shocking event. Salute to the brave warriors! Roar out in the silent land! This is the voice of the people, 30 must step down. The guards on the overpasses can be withdrawn, it's time to arm and defend Tiananmen Square. I just came back from Beijing yesterday and didn't expect such things to happen. It seems that the bystanders have already awakened, as well as the workers, peasants, and soldiers. The words sprayed on the red wall of Tiananmen Square demanding Xi Jinping's resignation are truly courageous and impressive. A shocking feat, anti xi slogan sprayed on the red wall of Tiananmen Square. However, some netizens have raised doubts, saying that in recent years, Tiananmen Square has been heavily guarded 24 hours a day, with plainclothes police everywhere, and therefore the authenticity of the incident is questionable. There are usually more plainclothes agents than visitors at Tiananmen Square. If the incident is true, then the person who sprayed the slogans must have been both brave and clever. You can try using a mineral water bottle to do it. Personally, I think this is probably true. Many people think that there are a lot of plainclothes agents at Tiananmen Square, and indeed, there are a lot of them, especially on the square. However, I noticed that the person who sprayed the slogans was at the main entrance of the city wall, which is not a place that most people would think of, and the security forces stationed there are insufficient, as they never thought anyone would be bold enough to insult the government right under their noses. When I visited Beijing before, I looked around the base of the Tiananmen city wall, and there weren't many people there. Chinese citizens protest against the CCP's tyranny one after another. This is not the first time that Chinese citizens have expressed their dissatisfaction and protest against the CCP's tyranny. Last year on October 13, a protester named Peng Lifa hung a banner on Cedar Bridge in Beijing's Haidian district, with the words we don't want nucleic acid tests, we want food, we don't want lockdowns, we want freedom, we don't want lies, we want dignity, we don't want the cultural revolution, we want reform. We don't want leaders, we want votes, we won't be slaves, we will be citizens. And boycott classes, strike, impeach the dictatorial traitor Xi Jinping, causing shock and attention both domestically and internationally. Although the authorities have fully suppressed this information on platforms such as Weibo and WeChat, it has already spread on other social media platforms. At that time, it was just before the 20th National Congress of the Communist Party of China and the authorities had been implementing a zero-tolerance policy for more than two years, leading to boiling public resentment. The content of Peng Lifa's banner spread to various places. In Beijing, Shanghai, Xinjiang and other cities, people wrote the same banner on the walls of public toilet stalls, classroom windows, shared bike charging windows, and other hidden corners. Similar slogans also appeared in the men's restroom of the China Film Archive in Beijing in October last year. The information quickly spread overseas, and Chinese people and students in international cities such as New York and Toronto held waves of activities to support Pen Li Fa and protest against the Chinese Communist Party authorities. Peng Lifa's actions sparked the blank paper revolution in late November, which spread to multiple cities throughout China. For the first time, the people shouted slogans such as Xi Jinping step down and down with the Communist Party. At the same time, international cities such as New York, Los Angeles, and Toronto also held events to support the blank paper revolution. 
Under pressure, the CCP loosened its control in early December and abandoned its zero-clearance policy. Last December, Peng Lifa was selected by the China Democratic Education Foundation as an outstanding Chinese democratic figure. However, there has been no news or communication from Peng Lifa to this day.